It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. Yet she says nothing. What of that? <sighs> I mean... She speaks. Oh, speak again, my bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I will no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. Romeo doth be thy name, and for that name, which is no part of thee, I take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love. Henceforth, I'll never be known as Romeo. What man art thou that so stumblest upon my counsel? I do not know how to tell thee who I am. My name, it is an enemy to thee. Had I written it, I would tear the word. Art thou not Romeo in a Montague? Neither. How comest thou hither? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb. With love's light wings did I overperch these walls, for stony limits cannot keep love out. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eyes than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet. By whose direction hast thou foundest this place? By love, who first did prompt me to inquire, I am no pilot, yet wert thou as far, as that vast shore washed with the farthest sea. I would adventure for such merchandise. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I. Little ditty about Jack and Diane, two American kids growing up in the heartland. Long after the thrill of living is gone